Alright, people. I talk a lot of shit about Sony. We already know that. We knew this was coming via Twitter. We knew this was gonna happen. There was no stopping it. Sony, PlayStation. I don't know why you think I'm not on Twitter. I don't know what's going on. But this was gonna happen as soon as you okayed the tweet. What the fuck? A one terabyte slim for $300. Okay. I see you. You're still no competition for your competition because your slim model is $300. Even your fans on Twitter are calling you out for this bullshit ass move. A lot of them are like, why isn't it the pro? Yes, mine is one of them because I'm like, why isn't it the pro? You should be marketing your pro for a cheaper price. You have other YouTubers calling you out saying that your 500 gig model is now going to have to take a hit because there's no way it's going to be able to stay at 300 fucking dollars. And they're absolutely right. Only a mad person is going to sit there and be like, oh, it's okay to stay at 300 dollars with the one terabyte being at 300 fucking dollars. Only a fucking madman is going to say that's perfectly okay. It's not. Sony, I know there's some people that don't disagree with me completely here, but your products just can't hold value for shit. Okay? Your marketing is horseshit right now. Hey, we're going to try to upsell on the piece of hardware we released that nobody asked for. The Slim. The piece of plastic nobody asked for. We're not going to try to increase profits or sales on the piece of plastic we really should be pushing, which is the Pro. And I get it. You're not really wanting people to buy the Pro because it's a machine made for a certain group of people. But it is a machine that, let's face facts here, is going to have to compete against the Scorpio. So, you might want to push that product instead of the Slim. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the fucking day, we both know that the Pro is in competition with the Xbox One Slim. There's no fucking way it's not. The Xbox One Slim and the PS4 Pro basically do the exact same fucking thing. Both of them do. So what if the PS4 has, what, four teraflops? Who the fuck cares? They both upscale games to 4K. Both of them do. Okay? There's just here and there differences. Just here and there. Little small shit that doesn't really fucking matter. Like the 4K Blu-ray player in the Slim. Not a big difference because then you're like, oh well, there's four teraflop titties in the PS4 Pro. There's little minor trades here and there. They don't make that big a fucking difference. Okay? Because at the end of the day... HDR rendering and upscale 4K exist on both of them bitches. And the Pro is in no league to compete with the Scorpio. That's just common fucking sense. Every media outlet has come to terms with that. So, you can't even hold a candle with the Slim against the Slim. So, why are you trying to market the Slim? What kind of stupid ass move is that? You should have gone back and been like, hey, instead of putting a 1 terabyte in our PS4 Slim, what if we put a 2 terabyte in our PS4 Pro? And we market it down. And we push the PS4 Pro. What if we put 2 terabytes in the PS4 Pro and we knock a couple dollars off of that? That would have been a smarter move. I mean, I'm, I'm not a genius here. But, again, that's a smarter move. Because you've not released numbers for the PS4 Pro, let alone the Slim. We all know the Slim's doing shit. Because nobody asked for it. You should have just let the PS4 base model be the base model. And that's it. But... 
Xbox came out with a Slim. <coughs> Pardon me, you felt the need to come out with a Slim. You felt some type of way. You got all in your feelings, and now we have a PS4 Pro and a PS4 Slim. Because Xbox has a Slim. And they were coming out with a Scorpio. So you felt you had to do something just to stay relevant. Never mind the fact, PlayStation, you have all the advantage. Never mind that. Never mind all the advantage is on PlayStation. Never mind all the advantage lies on PlayStation. PlayStation is home to all the games. All of them. You have R RPGs on lock. Not one RPG is exclusive to Xbox. Not one. So you've got them bitches on lockdown. You have more platformers. You have more um, strategies. You've got, you've got majority of everything. So the fact that you have gaming on lock as, outside of Nintendo... You decide because Xbox does some shit with the Slim because they have a VCR of a machine. They decide to, you know, slim it down. You decide because of that you want to go and fuck around and fuck everything up. I, I get it. But it was a stupid move because it hasn't sold. It hasn't. Why do you think, PlayStation, you haven't talked about the numbers? The PlayStation 4 Slim, you won't release those numbers. What you did is you combined everything. You combined the numbers for the Slim, the Pro, and the base model into one fucking number. One fucking number for everything because that's how you want to make sure it looks good. Okay? Face facts here. It took them how long to say how many of the PSVR sold? Think about it. It's common sense. PS4 Pro, it not doing success. It's not doing what they had hoped. It, it, it's a disaster, okay? Just face it. Not even a million, not even a million PSVR units have moved. I get it. Sony caused it because they didn't restock the fucking product, and they haven't really pushed it, and they really haven't produced games for it. I understand that. Here's the thing. The Switch is only a month. And like two weeks old has moved more units. More units. The Switch. A underpowered. Uh, move the games. A underpowered Zelda machine. That literally has indie titles. Your bread and butter, Sony, for this generation. Indie titles. With a triple-A title every now and again. Or a port. Nintendo has outsold your VR headset within a month and a couple of weeks. All because they know how to restock their product and it's still flying off the shelves. PlayStation VR finally gets restocked and it, can't, it still can't fucking move. It's not selling. Even with a game like Resident Evil 7 still won't fucking move. You have lost exclusive rights to Batman VR because you fucked around. You understand what you've done to your own product? And again, like I said, that tweet, you knew I was going to talk about it. And like I said, I'm not the world's smartest guy here. I, I don't say that I am. I never will. But... Why market the Slim? Why? What do you profit from that? You need to market the Pro. You need the stronger system to be your bread and butter now. You need it to go, fuck yeah, that's what you need. Okay? And I get it. I, I get it. You had horrible press about the damn thing. Every time I turn around... The fucking thing isn't doing what you mentioned that it should be doing out the box. Every time I turn around, it's like, hey man, the PS4 update for the PS4 Pro is for some shit that we said it was going to do out the fucking box. 
And I'm sitting here looking like, why the fuck does it need an update to do something that it should have been doing day one? So I understand. But this, this is something that you should be doing now. You should put two terabytes of memory in the PS4 Pro. You should be banking on the PS4 Pro while you can. Because I've been saying this for a while. That thing has a doomsday fucking clock on it. It's, it's going to come to a halt. Everybody's been saying that. And while you have the time, you should fucking bank on it. But no, you want to play this, let's bank on the Slim. But the Slim isn't the base model that sold over 30 million units. Hell, it took you three fucking years to get a one terabyte model in just the Slim version, you simple bastards. I got a one terabyte in my Batman PS4 base model because I went out and bought a one terabyte um, HDD fucking hard drive myself and put it in the bitch because when I bought it you still hadn't done an update to where I could go out and buy an external to hook up to the bitch which that update luckily happened just this past fucking year it's not even six months old for that update and guess what your competition has had that thing going for them I think since day one I could be wrong but I know they've had that going for them for a long ass time because you can't take it apart to put in another hard drive in that bitch. But here's the good news. They've had a one terabyte almost since day one edition of that bitch anyway. I mean, hell, it wasn't, what, six months till they came out with a one terabyte model of the Xbox One? So, I mean, they got that going for them. Sony, it's almost like you got your head up your ass. For the core systems, you've always had your head up your ass when it comes to anything else, like the PS Vita, the PSP, anything that's not your core systems, but now, it's like you got your head so far up your ass on your core systems. What's going on? So again, a link to the uh, tweet is going to be in the description below. I wouldn't buy this piece of shit. I don't suggest anybody buy this piece of shit. If you're looking to buy a Sony product, which I don't know why you would, but if you are, I would suggest probably going to GameStop and buying the base model. Because those things still exist. And what in the hell? I just changed that light bulb. It looks like I gotta change it again. Until next time, you guys, deuces.